first show was in 1978, and there was around 10 dealers there. Charlie told me one time, he goes, yeah, you know, I'm thinking about doing this guitar show thing. And I was like, what? And somebody had done, up around Chicago or something, somebody had done a, a like a folk one for banjos and dulcimers and guitars and everything. Everybody was like, uh, I don't think so. Yeah. So uh, he kept talking about it, kept talking about it, and then it, it, he talked about it enough where he kept comfortable doing it, you know. He was always a big fan of rock and roll. And his parents didn't really approve of it. Charlie came to me in, in after the second show, and he said, my nickname is Bird. He said, Bird, I've got this event. We've had it a couple of years, and I don't know what to do with it. So he was explaining to me about this guitar show and people getting together in a hotel and everything. And I was, I was kind of trying to visualize exactly what it was. It was more or less geared to the dealers, to the vintage collection. We bring an artist in if a, uh, somebody like Gibson or Fender, one of the reps, wanted to bring somebody into a booth or something. But uh, through Mark and Jimmy, once they, they uh, took over, it's gone more toward guitar players. It's more kind of a musical event and kind of a kind of geared toward you know a festival type that, that, that thing. Not not just a not just a vintage guitar show that that, that it started out in. It's it's funny because I remember you know my mom bringing me and I remember kind of growing up thinking that all this was was normal and then you would. You know, the show would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you'd go to school on Monday, and I would, you know, none of my other friends had had that kind of weekend. These guitar shows uh, are kind of like, uh, for guitar lovers, it's kind of like coming to the, uh, the yearly club meeting. Over the years, uh, you know, you, you make a lot of friends, and, and uh, some of them come from out of town, a lot of them come from out of town. And you form friendships that last over the years. Actually, it's the decades. You know, this is, this is kind of the birthplace where it started out, in Dallas. And Jimmy has kept this thing going on and it's involved into uh, what it is now, the uh, international guitar festival that it is. I know there are a lot of vintage guitar shows, but I don't think they all have entertainment like, like Jimmy adds to it. Jimmy's made this into a, a vintage guitar selling and buying festival. I mean, I've been coming here since the 80s. Wow. A long time. I remember when they first started putting these on. I come here every year to find gear for the for my next tour. So. Jimmy brought me here over 30 years ago and introduced me to everybody. I was stunned. It's my community of guys, and so I love being here. And uh, when I'm not in my booth uh, buying and selling guitars, I'm watching the entertainment. I mean, I was brought in open arms to the vintage guitar business with a new guitar. Wallace decided I needed a shot. Uh, I used to come to this one and the Arlington one, uh, just to look at old guitars and wish and drool and all of that. I'd met Jimmy through it. And so he said, hey, you want to get up at the jams? So I got up at one of those jams, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago, I guess, maybe. And, uh, Hit it off, I guess, with buddies ever since. There's no place to find more information. There's no place to find more people you can talk to and answer questions at the moment, point to something. Why is that like? They are just unbelievable learning experiences and far worth the admission price for that alone, whether you buy or sell or trade. Guitar is fun, man, and that's what Jimmy does with this whole festival, man. He allows us to have fun and be the artist that we are. And, I get to see a lot of great folks. This is our first time playing the festival. So Just excited. walked in the door. It's <laughs> overwhelming. I love coming every year. I look forward to it every year. I come from a family on my mom's side of family. All of my uncles and aunts, they play instruments and sing. I always had like a mind for music, you know, I always loved it, you know. Mm -hmm and even when I was really, really little. And the guitar just stood out to me in the music for some reason. I mean, my dad would play Almond Brothers or like blues like ZZ Top, Government Mule, Tedeschi Trucks around the house, and I just loved the way the guitar sounded. I just looked at myself and I was like, I could do that. My idea for this thing was for all these kids to connect, all these great guitar players that are all over the country to connect here 
on a friendship level, on a musician level, and uh, you know, we just uh, wanted to be at the best of the best uh, to one area, and, and obviously the Dallas International Guitar Show. I've been trying to be here for a long time, so I'm really excited. I played in New York at Madison Square Garden for a mixed game. It was a halftime show. It was awesome. They definitely speak a different language. Um, sometimes when they're talking, I have no clue what they're saying. <laughs> I just want to tell my story without actually telling it. You know you did. I love a young kid watching Eric Johnson going, that's in me too. I, I love the people that just come to be in the middle of a huge crowd of wonderful people. I love the people that bring something they're incredibly passionate about to exhibit it and show it, you know, not out of boastful pride, but out of, you know, these exist. This has been a huge part of my life. It, it, there's a million things I love about it.